Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closets where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So let's get started. Alright you guys, in so today's video, in today's video, the moment has finally come. I have here a brand new perfume. I have been wanting to get this perfume for the longest since it was announced and we finally have it here and I am talking about Victor and Rolf and we have here Flower Bomb Tiger Lily so I did get the 3.4 fluid ounce now I have tried it out I did test it out for a full day because I wanted to see the longevity how long it was going to last was I gonna get any compliments were people gonna ask what am I wearing so yeah I really definitely have some thoughts and opinions when it comes down to this perfume so Let's open it up and let's start to talk about it. Okay, so here we have the perfume. So the packaging is really, really cute. I really like the packaging. I think the packaging is really, really cute. And here we have Tiger Lily. So this is my first Flower Bomb perfume. I am familiar with the Flower Bomb perfumes. Um, I don't have any of the Flower Bomb perfumes because I Ugh, I don't know why, but I do get headaches from the Flower Bomb perfumes. They're just so, 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 so strong and so intoxicating. Very syrupy and sweet. Um, so I was excited to get this one. And I did blind buy this perfume because of the name and because I've always wanted to have a Flower Bomb perfume. So we finally have one. And I wanted to be bougie, so I did have the bottle customized. I did have my name engraved in the back. Plus, they did add this little bow. I mean, just something simple nothing too crazy it was free so I was like why not I also ended up paying hundred and eighty dollars for this perfume which is quite of a quite of a price tag if you ask me I think a lot of perfumes the prices on perfumes have been going up a lot but um, I did end up getting the bigger bottle I know better not to get the bigger bottle especially when I'm blind buying but I just had to I just had to do it for this one all right so this is described as a white floral tropical fruity perfume this one has top notes of bergamot and coconut milk the middle notes are tiger lily jasmine and phrygia and the base notes are mango and benzoin so that is literally the reason why i wanted to get this perfume because of the coconut the mango and the tiger lily so when i first saw that i immediately thought of fame i literally thought it was going to be maybe another fame perfume but no you guys surprisingly this is not another faint perfume i do have to say i like the way that the perfume sprays it sprays really really nice but what do we think about the scents that's the most important thing so i'll be honest with you when i first tried out this perfume my first initial thought my first initial reaction was okay this is nice i'm not crazy over it i'm not like wow i'm obsessed it's not love at first sniff but it is a nice scent that first initial hits when you first smell this perfume it does smell like a creamy coconut but it's not creamy as in like sweet it's more like creamy a little bit bitter a little bit fresh and i think it's because of that bergamot it does smell a little bit green a little bit um I want to say a little bit earthy but you can smell that coconut you can smell that coconut milk it does smell creamy it doesn't smell creamy sweet it just smells creamy fresh something aquatic yet green and earthy that is the first thing that i'm getting out of this perfume when you first spray this perfume that is the first first thing that i'm getting out of this perfume and then the dry down you can smell those floral notes it's definitely a white floral which smells fresh it's definitely giving that fresh garden it doesn't smell like fresh rose petals or anything like that but it does smell like something fresh and aquatic maybe a little bit airy like air i know you don't know what air smells like or you can't smell air but you know like something fresh yet a little bit of floral like it's very floral-y and I like it that's why i say i think this perfume is a little bit nice it's it is nice but once the perfume is completely dried down on your skin or on your clothes that's where you get something a little bit more sweet a little bit more on the tropical side but this perfume still comes off a little bit bitter and what i mean by bitter it just comes off uh, I don't know like green earthy yet woodsy and I think the woodsy is from that benzoin note I do smell that mango, but I don't think this is a true mango. This is definitely not a Juicy fruity delicious mango. It doesn't come off synthetic. It's not 
it's it's not synthetic or a, a, a generic type of perfume you can definitely smell that mango notes but it doesn't uh, to me it doesn't smell like a true mango perfume this is not a true mango perfume but it does have that nice hint of mango so like right now if i smell my hand the first thing that i'm getting is that coconut milk creamy that freshness that bitterness yet that mango and that woodiness it, it smells a little bit woodsy yet fruity and a tiny bit sweet it is mangoey it is creamy it is a tiny bit sweet and a tiny bit woodsy so if you are into fruity perfumes you're definitely going to like this one i have to say this perfume is a little bit disappointing only for the simple fact that this is not something unique this is not something special this is not something out of this world you know i wasn't wowed by this perfume i think there is a lot better flower bombs like i really do like nectar i think that perfume is really really good i don't have it but they did send me a sample of it even though i have already smelled it this is probably one of those perfumes that i really 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 do like from the flower bomb line but don't get me wrong i like it i think this is a very easy to wear perfume this is definitely nothing too crazy nothing too intoxicating this is for sure one of the first flower bombs that does not give me a headache which is what i really like so don't get me wrong this is a really nice perfume especially if you are into creamy coconutty fresh aquatic floral with a hint of mango and a hint of woodiness if you like that or if that sounds good I think you're gonna like this one like i said it's not something so crazy or something special but it does smell elegant it does smell nice it's definitely a i would say this is a safe blind buy if you are a fan of the other flower bomb perfumes you might like this one but this one doesn't have the flower bomb dna i think that they were trying to do something different with this one because it is different from the other flower bomb perfumes but i really 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 like this one i do see myself reaching for this one i do see myself layering this one with something a little bit more on the vanilla side uh but it is a really nice perfume i'm just glad that i do like it even though for 2024 i want to love my perfumes i don't love this perfume i just like this perfume that much and i think it is a nice perfume now i have to say this perfume does remind me of another perfume that i do have in my collection not to say that it's the same thing but it does have similarities to the dolce and gabbana dolce garden one the one that's a little bit on the pink side so when i first smell that one i'm like i feel like i've smelled something similar to this perfume and when i tried this one out i said yes this is definitely very very similar it's not a dupe it's not a replica it's not something like that but i do feel like both of these perfumes come from the same world of like this type of perfumes or these type of scents i really like this one this is one of my favorite perfumes but i feel like this one comes off a little bit more sweet a little bit more on the vanilla side this one just comes off a little bit more bitter a little bit more fresh but if you like this one i think you're going to like this one i think you're very much going to enjoy this one if you don't like this one you might not like this one like i said only because i feel like they are both similar like me smelling both of them yeah they're very they're very similar and i think both of these together layering them together is going to be a really really nice combination because the dolce one comes off more on the sweeter side so definitely something to keep in mind if you like this one or if you are familiar with this one give this one a chance also the longevity on this perfume is pretty decent i did get about four to five hours with six sprays it does linger beautifully in the air but i feel like after maybe four or five hours it does become a skin scent personally on me and on my skin but it does it does linger beautifully in the air but final thoughts on this perfume is i like it i'm not obsessed with it i'm not in love crazy in love with this perfume i just think this perfume is a pretty decent and okay scent but i'll tell you this i'll definitely enjoy as much as i can out of this perfume so we're gonna we're gonna put this one on and we're gonna do one two three four five six which is almost what i did last time and then i'm gonna do the dolce and gabbana one i'm just gonna do one two three i think six sprays and three sprays of the dolce and gabbana is gonna be really really good see like right now ah uh, right now it smells so good it smells so freaking good it smells like coconut it smells fresh it smells creamy it smells sweet i really like this whoa i really like this this is my first time 
mixing these two perfumes and it's just it smells really 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 freaking good but all right you guys that is pretty much it for today's video that is pretty much it for today's review i have to say even though i like the perfume i would like to know your thoughts and your opinions are you curious about this perfume do you want to try this perfume or have you tried this perfume and if so do you like it like always let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below if this video was helpful please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content if you're new here and you like everything perfume and everything in the fashion world and stick around click that subscribe button and click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload and for you to be part of the team but right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait to be gossip on the next one until then i'll see you next time bye guys